Sons in Chinese families are a big deal, and my mother did well to have three sons in a row. My brother Elliot, my brother Malvin, and my brother Ted. But it was said that the Gong family was cursed, and each family could have no more than three sons. My mother wanted to break this curse, and she was going to have another son. So she had another child, and that was my sister Teresa. She had another child, and that was my sister Jenny. She had another child, and that was my sister Jade. And she had another child, and that was me. So she finally gave up and gave into the Gong curse and ended up with three sons and four daughters. The problem with daughters is that no matter how old or as independent or successful you are, the mother is responsible for you until you marry. So one of the roles of a Chinese mother is to marry off her daughters. And it was important that she, you married well and that she, it's shown that she raised you right and she could have a big wedding banquet and invite all her friends and not lose faith. So my mother used to entice us to marry. Um, she had a jewelry box, I remember, under her mattress, and every once in a while she'd pull it out, and in it would be gold bracelets and rings and necklaces and things, and she said, she would say, when you marry, these things will be yours, but only if you marry the right husband. <laughs> so in closing, I'd like to do a, a, a song that I wrote about my mother's role and responsibility to marry off her daughters. Uh, I was the last daughter to marry in 1995, and my mother died in 1996. The slide shows a combination of my uh, siblings and friends and relatives wedding. And um, If any of you know uh, Sandy and Vincent and Yee, uh, they're my special friends, and they're in here. And if you see their wedding picture, you should cheer loudly if you recognize them. <laughs> um, and also, I know a lot of you know Frank, Dr. Frank Ng from Fresno State University. He's in there also. Okay. Anyway, it's called Your Wedding Day. Thank you very much for having me here. It's been wonderful to be here.